Back in December 2020, I did this bit with my friends where I said everything in Morse code and I thought it was funny. And when I was thinking about this the other day, I had the idea of turning my keyboard into a Morse code keyboard. Then I realized I have zero programming knowledge and I decided to use my Stream Deck instead. Before we get into this, 40% of you aren't subscribed. So if you haven't already, please do check if you're subscribed. It helps out a ton and it means the world to me. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. And with all that said and done, enjoy the video. So essentially how we're gonna do this is we're gonna make a new profile with, for the Stream Deck. And this is basically just gonna be like our terminal. I'm really only calling it terminal because it sounds fancy by the way. So as we all know, there are four rows of the keyboard numbers, one, two, three. However, we also need punctuation because of course that's necessary. And we need stuff like enter space and backspace. So that's gonna be like six profiles. So basically something cool that we can do with the Stream Deck is we have a button to switch the profile. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so we have our six profiles. So there's another thing we can do with a Stream Deck, which is text, if I can find it. Here we are. We can literally just have text. So we're gonna start with numbers. So how we're gonna do this, we're gonna have our 10 keys or nine, depending on what row we're talking about. And then in the bottom center here, we are going to have our switch profile, which will take us back to the keyboard terminal. And then from here, we can just call these all 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we can add the Morse code and hopefully it should work. Also, I just realized absolutely no keyboard looks like this. So I'm going to do some reshuffling. There we are. That's actually how the keyboard is laid out. So basically, now we've added in the numbers. When I press these buttons, text will appear on the notepad. So if I use the historical examples, so for example, 1066, all I need to do is type 1, 0, uh, 6, 6. And there is 1066 in Morse code typed with the keyboard. So I just need to do all the rest of the rows and that will be done and then we'll do some demonstrations. Okay, so I think everything works and now it's time to test it. So what I'm gonna do is essentially just go onto my onto the group chat and just say hi, I'm type <laughs> I'm just gonna say hello. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna type hello. So we have H E L L O. Yeah, we're just gonna type hello. Okay, so absolutely nothing has happened. So we're just gonna try with Discord now. So I'm just gonna say, hey guys, or something like that. So H, E, Y. Then we're gonna go onto our functions. Woo. We're just gonna do a quick space, G, U. For the next one, let's have an exclamation mark. Why not? Oh, where's the exclamation mark? It is right here. And let's send. That's, no, that's high. That should be high. And there we go. I can't be bothered to decode this fair enough. So yeah, I reckon mission success. That's the Morse code keyboard. And you can do this on your own stream deck. And you can do this on your own keyboard if you have programming knowledge. I'm sure you can find a way. Uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you sometime soon. Bye-bye. Oh, well.